you know, just bought into what he wanted. Sure. And, you know, he just listened to him and did what he wanted. Before he took that role, during the practice during the week, was he very involved with you guys or was he kind of more float and, you know, spend time with offense, spend that, you know, yeah, it seemed like he would have been more focused on you guys last week. Is that right or not? Right, right. Uh, more, more focused on the defense. Right. And uh, he let Coach Smith focus on the offense. Right. And uh, it was just more him being more with the defense. But, like, usually he's more with the defense, I would say. He still would have been more. Right, right. But this may be a little more even still than he was. Yes, sir. Okay. And he let the stop, I assume, have a lot of input. Sounds like he had the defense would get players themselves kind of have some input. Is that right? Right. How important was that to hear from him and saying, hey, what do you guys want to do? I mean, it felt, it felt pretty good because, uh, you know, we, like, all we have to do is, I mean, like every every uh, week we always have to listen to sure. you know, the coaches, like them asking what, what we like to do. And uh, I, I mean, it just felt good, you know, seeing that we can have our own input on sure. how uh, we can uh, play. What'd you tell? What did you tell? Uh, I didn't say anything. I just, <laughs> I just, I just come to play. Did anybody say anything you thought? Well, that's a good idea. I didn't talk about it. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, not really. I just. You know, I just listen to Coach Clark, Coach Smith, and sure. you know, just, just do what they, what they tell me to do. Does that help you guys play a little bit looser to have the coach's confidence in knowing the plays and having what you want out there? Does that help you? Yeah, I mean, it? yeah, it does because, uh, like, if a, if a guy uh, says something uh, and they want to change something, um, like, most of the time it's probably, like, for the better for that person. So, like, you don't have to worry about that, that guy, you know, messing up because they changed something to help that dude produce better on the field. And what do you think was the big difference from your mindset going into the Maryland game and the mindset going into Minnesota to perform the complete 180 difference? Uh, guys was more, more you know, into this game. You know, they, they brought more energy. You know, guys didn't seem as tense as they were, you know, on the road. So it just felt good. How big of a difference was uh, Levy in charge and, and instead of Hardy in that? Uh, I mean, it wasn't much of a big difference, but, you know, uh, I still miss Coach uh, Nickerson being around. You know, we always joked around and everything. But, you know, uh, this week, I mean, I wouldn't say it's more, like, like uh, stricter or whatever because, like, I, I joke around with Coach Smith as well. So, I mean, either way, you know, for the better, you know, I, I'm, I'm with it. So. What does a convincing win like that, like not even close, blow them out, what does it do for the rest of the season and the confidence in the locker room? I mean, it gives more guys hope and, you know, more energy. So, like, I'm pretty sure guys probably didn't feel uh, that we had a chance. And um, them seeing, like, what we could do to a team like this, uh, you know, probably just gives them more hope on uh, how they feel about the rest of the season. So.